This is part six to wholesaling real estate for beginners. And in this video, we'll go over how to find your end buyer. So you're now almost at the finish line. The last step is to find an end buyer to sell the deal to, and then you can make your money. For me, I normally find that the buyer is one of the easier parts of the process as there are lots of cash buyers out there if it's a good deal. The first place you should look is Facebook real estate groups. I think this is the number one best way to find an end buyer. So basically what you do is you go on Facebook and you'll search up your city plus real estate investors or real estate investment and you'll join the Facebook groups in your city. For example, I'm in Houston and if you search Houston real estate investors or Houston real estate investing, there's about four main real estate groups for the Houston area. Join all your groups and start posting your deals in there and you'll get buyers. What will happen is people start commenting on your posts or they'll directly message you on Facebook. One thing to keep in mind though, since you don't really know the people in these groups, don't post the full address of your property. Just post maybe a zip code or a neighborhood and then post some basic details. And when they reach out to you for more information, that's when you want to vet them and make sure they're actually an end buyer and not another wholesaler. You can also vet them when you look at their Facebook profile and you can maybe even ask for a proof of funds. This way you can weed out the serious buyers from the tire kickers or people that might try to steal your property and buy it straight from the seller. Another place to find an end buyer is in your local real estate meetup groups. I think this is a good way to find buyers because you can meet them face to face and build that rapport and connection with them and kind of vet them out and see your gut feeling about the person. This brings you a lot more trust and confidence in a buyer that can perform if you've met them in person and talked to them and see what they're doing. Now, it's not as scalable because there's not gonna be that many people in a meetup group, but it's definitely a good way to get a more qualified buyer you feel good about. I recommend going to several different meetups just to meet a variety of investors in your area. And also, just because one person might not be a buyer for your type of deal, they might know other legitimate buyers that can perform that might be interested in your zip code or in your deal. Another good way to find buyers is right on the MLS. On the MLS, you can look up recently sold homes around your subject property and see who paid cash for them. If those people that paid cash are normally investors, you can call the buyer's agent that was on that deal and ask them if their client is interested in another similar property in the same area. Most of the times they will be interested and you'll know how much they will pay for it because you can see what they pay for the one nearby. I've done this numerous times and found a lot of buyers and moved a lot of deals this way. For me, it's more of a sure thing because you've seen that they've bought this property on the MLS that you know they can perform and they can actually close the deal. Second, it saves you the time of blasting it on Facebook, talking to a lot of tire kickers and people that are interested, when you can find serious buyers who buy in that area and that type of property right there on the MLS. Now, I prefer to buy it from cash buyers. You can see on the recently sold comps nearby how they bought the property. Was it cash? Was it a VA loan? Was it a conventional loan? So that can kind of help determine if they're an investor more than let's say just a person buying a retail house. So definitely don't sleep on that. Definitely look at recently sold properties near your property and see if there are any cash buyers and reach out to that agent and they'll normally make a deal of you and their client will buy yours too. If this video series so far has been giving you great information, please like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can get more real estate tips to advance your real estate investing career. Now, the next place I like to find buyers from is the title company itself. Like the last video where we went over title companies, if you picked a real estate investor friendly title company, chances are they're working with other investors too. And they can see the ones that are consistently closing and buying deals. And you can ask them, hey, do you have any investors that you see always buying closing deals? Would they be interested in my deal. And that way the real estate title companies can connect you to the end buyer. And you'll know that they are legitimate buyers and can close because the title company is seeing them every month closing and buying deals. So you won't have to worry about tire kickers or someone that can't perform as the title company already sees that they are legitimate buyers that they've worked with. Another benefit to this is the title company will already have their information, like their entity formation documents and any other required things that they need from a buyer. This can make a transaction go smoother and quicker when you do this route. So make sure to do all four of those tips above when finding your buyers, especially when you're starting out. You can't just rely on one of those methods. You have to do all four and start building up your buyers list until you have a good solid buyers list. Another way to do it is to swap a buyers list of other wholesalers. Tell them you'll send your buyers list to them if they send you their buyers list and that way you can add to your buyers list pretty quickly. So this wraps up the Wholesaling for Beginners series on this YouTube channel. If you still wanna learn more, you can reach out for a private mentorship 
membership or you can buy my real estate courses that will go over in more depth all of these items. And like I said, I'll always be posting more content on how to do deals and more advice on this channel. So even if you don't wanna spend a dime, that's okay. I'll be giving you tons of free value. Just subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.